So, hello. Again. Um, uh, this is a reading for six months, for the next six months, for um, Joseph Blatter. Today is the 8th of October. So, this reading will be in effect until April 2016. So, from October 2015 to October 2016. The next six months for Joseph Blatter, because he was suspended for 90 days. Let's see what's, what does the future hold for Mr. Blatter. So, this is a Celtic cross that I'm using. And the significator is the seven of wands. So this is him. He's fighting. He probably feels like he's fighting everyone. That he um, has to stand his ground, has to defend his principles, has to defend his youth. So he's really, he's really holding his ground for the next six months. He's, he's probably will be doing the, this in the position of that which is not seen. We have the Three of Wands. So usually this is a very good card. It means your ships are coming. So you've done something and you maybe you're getting the rewards. I would not read it in that way. It could be read in that way, meaning that he doesn't know that uh, what that which is not seen yet is that mm, there's uh, that he has resources, and those resources will be available. I would read it in a different way. I would read not as there is ships are coming, but his allies are leaving him. They're leaving him stranded in a deserted island. That's how I see it. So uh, that which is not seen is that maybe his allies, his friends are leaving uh, and you'll be alone watching everyone leave and leaving him behind. I'll read it that way but um, it, this, this, I, I'm not entirely sure. So the basis of the question is, the question within the reading, is the devil, so corruption. This is a very clear card which speaks of corruption. So that's the basis. The past connected to, to this situation is the Eight of uh, Wands, a lot of Wands. The Eight of Wands, I would, I would read it like everything uh, to him as far as he is concerned. Everything is happening very fast, really, really fast. Um, maybe he wasn't expect wasn't expecting everything to to really start moving as fast uh, as it is, or it could be like a lot of ideas floating, and he didn't really knew which one to take. So a lot of possibilities in the past. Uh, should I behave like this? Should I follow this idea? Should I do that? Should I? And really didn't know exactly what to do. It could be read uh, as well in that way. What he wants, it's the next, the next, next card, and it's the two of coins. What he wants, I would say, he wants to keep balanced. He doesn't want to lose his money. He wants to <laughs> keep his money in his hands. He wants to behave in a very balanced, and flexible way. Uh, assuring that he will win this, this battle. This can be read also in a different manner. It can be read like he wants to see the funny side in, in all of this. He doesn't want to lose his good hu humor. So it could be, this card could be read also as that. The near future, the near future, future it's the high pri priestess. The High Priestess speaks of occult knowledge, so maybe in the near future some secret might come to light, 
some secret agreement because she has, you know, she has like, here it reads the Torah, but it's secret knowledge within, uh, I would say a secret contract maybe, a secret, some secret that comes to light. That's how I would say it. I would read it. The next card, the position is uh, him, himself, and it's the five of swords. So it tells me of maybe uh, of the last battle or, or a battle which was won. Now, he could be the one who's winning the battle, but just because you win this battle doesn't mean you're gonna going to win the war. So there is some sort of maybe defeat or maybe some sort of win, but this is momentarily and this does not mean the entire war, so to speak, is won. So, so I would read it like he's, he might lose something, he might win something, but that, that doesn't define everything. So the next card is the others, and the others is the nine of coins. Now, this could be read as others connected to him or how others see him. If it's read in the way of how others see Mr. Platter, they would see him as a very rich man, as a very independent man, a man, maybe someone who loves animals. I would read it in a different way. I would read it like the others, not necessarily necessarily his associates, but people who are fighting him in a legal ground are very independent people, meaning uh, they cannot be swayed, they cannot be manipulated, they, they cannot be, you know, uh, made to see, make, made to see other, other, his point of view, other points of view. So these are very independent people who are well funded. Funded. If there is, if this is a fight, this is a very well-funded fight by the other side. The other side doesn't have to worry about money, doesn't have to worry about being independent. So the next card is the wish card, or the advice card, or the fears card. It can be read in these in this, in this three different manners. So it's the nine of cups. I would read it as the wish card. So he wishes uh, to everything be as it was in a very relaxed manner. He wishes to win this fight, this battle, this war, so to speak. And he's very blasé. You see, you see this man here is very blasé, very, oh, everything is fine, everything fine. There's no problem, there's no problem. So I would read it also as a sort of advice, like he shouldn't be this way you shouldn't think or believe that everything is going to be okay it might happen that way but i wouldn't i i would be afraid to say you everything's going to be okay this is more like his, his wish his, this is what he wants but you shouldn't treat this as if it was an easy battle something easy to win and the outcome card is the Ten of Swords. So the Ten of Swords might speak of within the next six months a part of his life, a chapter of his life which ends, maybe in a way that he is not anticipating. So in a way in which he feels extremely betrayed uh, in a way in which he feels defeated, but something within the next um, six months will be ending. I don't know if it if it's his job on FIFA or if it's something else. Uh, the swords also speak of the legal battle, like the legal battle ends in a way which is most unfavorable to him. Could be that way. Not necessarily. Uh, could 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 be that way, but something within the next six.
six months will be exiting out of his life. And this is the, um, up to April 2016. And we'll see if I'm right on or not. So I wish Mr. Mr. Water all, all the best. Thank you.